Uh, my name is Larissa Kuzmenko and I'm a composer and pianist and uh, I teach composition and orchestration at the University of Toronto and I've been there for about 30 years now and I'm also a graduate from uh, the University of Toronto. I started um, writing music when I was seven years old. Um, played the piano at the age of four and the reason I chose to write music was because it was kind of a therapy uh, thing for me. I remember going to Niagara Falls with my dad and he asked me to stand on the stone wall where the falls were <laughs> falling behind me and I was terrified, I was shaking and I thought whoa. So instead of seeing um, a therapist I went home and thought to myself well music is my friend so I'll write a piece of music based on the, on the falls and my experience and that's how it all started. Fantasy uh, on a Theme by Beethoven was inspired by Beethoven's first symphony. Uh, it, I decided to write a theme and seven variations loosely based on the theme. Uh, Beethoven's theme is C, G, B, C, C, but mine is D, A flat, C, D, D. Um, getting away from the tonality of C totally because most classical music is in C look at Mozart's music. I didn't know what to do at first um, when they told me uh, be inspired by Beethoven's Piano Concerto Number no. 1 or his Symphony Number no. 1. I thought, well, I'm going to do this without sounding too classical, you know, if, if I choose the theme. Um, I could have gone about it differently. Uh, they said, you can do whatever you like. Um, but I wanted to write something that really related to, to the symphony. The tympanist really um, is, is um, well, let's say he's got a challenging part. <laughs> We've been <laughs> communicating uh, via email about his part. Um, the thing is that I'm used to writing with full, a full percussion section. So I only have a timpani because I have to use uh, the orchest Beethoven's orchestration. I don't have uh, extra um, brass instruments only two trumpets and two horns. I'm used to writing for four horns, two trumpets, three trombones, and a tuba. And <laughs> it's just, it was very challenging. I've never done this before. At first I had another title. Um, it was going to be called um, for Ludwig B. <laughs> just like fur leaves that Beethoven I thought for Ludwig B. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe that's just Maybe no one's going to get that. <laughs> so, but the fantasy, that, that worked because it is kind of a fantasy. Uh, the theme isn't, it's, it's the shape of Beethoven's uh, motive, but not exactly the same. The fast variations are celebratory of uh, Beethoven's birthday, and the slow ones actually depict his beloved, uh, Antony Brentaro. Um, he wrote a love letter to her. I, I thought about this when I was writing it and it was really sad he never sent it to her. Maybe because she was married and her husband probably would be very upset if he found this letter. But um, um, it's very sensual. The, the slow movements are very sensual and, and the fast movements are very boisterous and, and spirited. Um, because I, I, that's how I see Beethoven. This is really um, important, uh, exciting, great composer. Um, and fiery, so hence uh, the, the um, really fast movements. But the slow movements, um, he was a shy fellow, I believe, and he was very much in love uh, with uh, Antoni. I imagine Beethoven and his beloved dancing in the second last variation when the uh, strings are playing pizzicato. It's kind of this uh, uh, very romantic dance between the two of them. I chose the oboe as my solo instrument to depict his beloved. I think it's a very sensual instrument, so I wanted something that um, created this romantic atmosphere. Uh, and I heard that uh, they just got a new oboe, so I thought, well, why not write a solo for the new oboist uh, in the orchestra? I'm happy with the result. Um, the orchestra is playing brilliantly. It was a difficult year for me because I, in one year I had to write a double piano concerto with string orchestra that was premiered in November and then I had a few months to write this piece so uh, and think about it quickly. Uh, in fact my program notes that I sent to the orchestra <laughs> were very brief because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. It, it was um, 
I was in the process of writing the piece when I uh, just wrote those program notes, but then I thought about the Valentine's Day and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll add a bit of that romance into my piece.